You are now watching AK Debris on YouTube. It's your boy K Man back at it with another one, man. Holy. Another day, another dollar, man. Welcome back to the house of knowledge, wisdom, evolution, and revolution, man. The place where I keep it 102%, sometimes at the expense of my video monetization. Now, in case you're about to go to bed, I'm not going to talk too aggressive on you. I get it. You know, you want something chill and calm. You know what I mean? You probably hit the little the little pen. You know the type of pen that, uh, what's her name? Brittany Renner, Granner, whatever. That type of pen. I know I hit one myself, so I'm going to just keep it 102% with you. You understand me? So uh, I'm going to let Hannah welcome you in and, 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 and set the mood right. Talk to him, Hannah. Take it away. Greetings. Welcome back to the house of knowledge, wisdom, evolution, and revolution. Get comfortable, grab a bottle of water, and back to you, AK. This is Hannah, AK Debris, London. Thank you, Hannah. All right, man, now let me keep it 102% with you. 102, okay? Now, this topic here... I, I, it's really been bugging me for a while, you know. It really carries a lot of disappointment with it, you know. It's really, I feel betrayed. I feel really betrayed. Because, you know, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to start this off and I'm going to take CoffeeZilla as an example. Now, quick little disclaimer. You know, anything I talk about, any person I talk about, you know, any criticism whatsoever, please don't go ahead and, and send some lawyers after me. My brother, I am just critiquing, all right? This is my opinions, my thoughts. This is never bullying or harassment. But we're going to get into that, that little bullying nonsense. So check this out. In life, I've learned one thing. Whenever you see someone... Always, you know, carrying the, the guise of, 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 yeah, we're good people, you know. You know, you know, uh, catch the bad guys. Wherever that situation may apply to. You know, this, this whole concept of, of, of the warrior of morality. Whenever I see that, I run away, all right? Now, people like CoffeeZilla, why did I bring him up? I right, check this out. I've always felt some type of way about this type of content. I've always felt some type of way about the type of content he's making because instead of educating you on how to not get scammed, he would he's going to make his money, which is not wrong with it. That's his hustle. But he is what I like to call a a a, a, a ambulance chaser. Or maybe that's not a good term for it. Let's try a night crawler. That's a reference from a movie called Nightcrawler. Basically, basically, the movie's about a guy who, uh, a petty thief who ended up uh, uh, finding, uh, figuring out a hustle where he can record the, the footage of, of, let's say, like a, you know, robbery just happened. He'd show up with a camera and record that. And then he'd be the first on the scene. He bought a police radio and everything just to listen in on the hot stuff. And he'd go to the news channels and sell it off. You know, the closer, the more footage you got, exclusive, da da da, he get paid money. So I look at YouTubers like CoffeeZilla, where, you know, he's carrying the guise of, of, of oh yeah, we're protecting our senior citizens. We're gonna catch these scammers. But, you know, it's a good, it's a good uh, uh, movement or a good, uh, you know, it's a good little fight you fight. I'll give it to you. But the problem becomes where, you know, day after day you ask yourself, like, if your goal is to stop the scammers, wouldn't you just educate the people? All right? But anyway, that's the topic for another day. The reason I say this, that I brought this up, is Andrew Tate getting banned, right? Now, check this out. Let me talk to H3H3 for real quick. See? People who carry the guise of the good guy, 
you know, you ever see girls, they say, uh, you, see, you hear that little rhetoric going around in the red pill communities or, or, or the sell in the communities, you know what I'm talking about? Where it's like the good girls, or sorry, not just the girls, like a, a, a bad guy. They stay away from a quote unquote nice guy. My friend, because there is no such thing as nice guy, you just put on that facade that you're a nice guy, and usually, you know, you, when you do that, <laughs> you know what I mean? You're your quote unquote bad guy that's inside you will manifest itself in, in, in ways that girls really don't like, such as passive aggressiveness. That's why a girl is like a nigga who's up front. Anyway, girls like a man who is uh, 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 honest, okay? I'd rather tell it straight up. Hey, yo, <laughs> baby, you hear me? It, one, two, three, four, five, six. She like that, but if I tell her four, five, six, and I put the one, two, three away because I'm a nice guy, I don't make you a nice guy. That just make you uh, a weirdo, you know what I mean? And listen, let me tell you something. Age three, let me drink some wuta, like Hannah says. Make sure you grab a bottle of wuta. Here's my issue. Age three, age three. We're talking about a guy whose whole come up was based on the fact that he is a good guy. Remember, he was going at other people who he claimed to be dubious and shady. And that's not to take away from whatever fight he fought at the time, whether they are shady or dubious. Because, you know, he was right about him, hence his come up. But right now, I'm looking at him. I'm looking at Andrew Tate. Now, hear me out. I am a man of integrity. If you are spreading lies on another man, if you make a video lying on another man saying that he did the R word and he, he, he you know, the, the human trafficker or whatever, and you know that it's false, which we're going to break all that down, but let's wait a minute. If you make a video knowing that it's false or you just choose to ignore evidence that it's false, but you keep on perpetuating that. If you're a small channel just trying to come up, I would look at you like, you know what, I get it, you hustling. Okay, you trying to make a little money. I can't hate on you. Okay, but when you're a guy whose whole come up is based on the fact that you're holier than thou, which I I really don't like that. I like I told you, whenever somebody act holier than thou, run away. All right, listen. The biggest abuser of children is the church. So that tells you a lot. So. Your whole come up is, is you holier than thou. You better than everybody. Better than thou. But yet you sitting on a show telling bold lies on another man. Saying that he is the R word. He traffic humans. Now, I have what you call integrity. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that Andrew Tate is an angel. No, he's not. But is he a bad guy, per se? That is not for me and you to say. But I would never sit here, okay? And maybe, I don't know if it's a, if it's a, I don't know what it is, but I could just not call him bad out his name like that, especially when the evidence been provided a million times now. The reason that Tate got banned from Instagram and, and, and Facebook and Twitter. And, 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 and. You know, he's been banned from Twitter before. I can see that with Twitter, all right? Because mass reporting. And he do be saying crazy stuff. But him getting his Instagram removed, like the reasons, they, the way they stated the reasons sounded like he was a, a someone who condoned violence against women. Now, these clips surface, and they keep surfacing. Notice how they keep resurfacing? Of him with this girl. I'm obviously not going to play it. I learned my lesson last time I got demonetized. So, but the clip, you know, you can look it up on your own time. Of him chilling with a girl and he is whipping her with a belt. Now, the people who kept 
you know, surfacing this clip over and over, seems to cut out the last part where she obviously is enjoying it. This is a, I guess, a BDSM little enjoyment thing they got going on where it's like, hit me harder. Wha-pa! You're not mad enough. You shouldn't be hitting me harder. Wha-pa! I know I've been in one of them situations, so I get it. I hit. Do I hit women? Of course not. Unless they tell me to in a consensual enjoyment position situation. You understand what I'm saying? But the haters, and I, I'm going to call them haters because they are haters. They keep cutting out the part where, where obviously it shows that this is a mutual having fun thing. And they keep cutting out the first part where it's just him with him, whoop, him, blah, 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 blah. Him whooping with a belt and just posting that like oh my god clip surfaces of Andrew Tate beating a woman and women a woman now I can't help it but think you're a hater because and you know hold on I'm getting to it let me make sure I'm recording yo alright cool boom alright so boom check it out I can't help it but think you are are full of resentment. You are full of perhaps jealousy. Uh, 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 maybe a little bit of, 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 I don't know what it is. Because there's no reason a grown man whose who's, who's whole career is built on the fact that he has way more integrity. Way more honesty than the average person. You know, you're quote unquote good guy you know the hero but the actions paint a completely pic- different picture now i get it tate is an explosive character all right he's got the type of character where not everybody can handle i get it but my problem is with miscus crew and the guy turning him into a villain all right and straight up just putting lies like if he really hit a woman Say that. Alright? If he was really doing some domestic violations on a woman, say that. If he was really trafficking women, of course I don't support that. Anyway, say that. But when we were talking about a guy who's been proven countless times, once, twice, Yet people love to top up the video, and and, and, and not just the video of him uh, uh, with the belt. There was another video that kept surfacing of him telling her to count the, 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 the bruises or whatever. I just don't get the logic, bro. I just don't get the logic of, of you know the truth, but you keep spreading this lie, right? Now, according to YouTube Terms of Service, so look, I'm not no snitch. Alright, but y'all love to get people banned, so I'm just pointing out something straight up. According to their terms of service, I think you should be demonetized for the ones where you kept spreading these lies, bro. Because not only did you get de- should you get demonetized, I'm going to tell you the second thing that in my eyes already happened. Which is the fact that you fell from my eye. Ace three, I never watched you like that, you know. You was always a little, uh, what they might call soy, soy boy. But that didn't bother me. I still liked you. I still watched you time to time. You put on that girl. What's her name? What's the name of the girl? Patricia, Trisha. Was it? Yeah, like, bro, ain't no grown man from the hood finna sit there and watch you with that. Come on, bro. But I still rock with you. You went through all that trouble. Mudahar. Alright? Listen. You fell for my eye. When I seen you sit there. Uh, double chinned up. On a Tuesday night. <laughs> you know what I mean? Talking about. Listen I get it. The image might be intimidating. Of a guy who's doing everything that you're not. You know what I mean? You're not in shape. He's in shape. Okay. You're double cheeked up, uh, sorry, double chinned up on a, on a Monday afternoon. 
he's not. You know what I mean? Got the crisp chai line, you feel me? With the beard coming in, lined up, you know what I mean? And the fresh little bald head. I'm just comparing, bruh. So you, 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 obviously you're looking at this man, right? I mean, you're successful in your own right. You up a couple of million, but he's a multi-millionaire. Millionaire. He don't got to appease nobody, you know what I mean? You're married, You, I get it, you got a kid. It is what it is. But you can't sit there, bruh, and just tear this man down because, like, that's that's not a good enough reason. That's, and, you know, you lose your own integrity in the process where you're perpetuating a lie. <sighs> Again, some people might come in here and say that, you know, I'm one of Andrew Tate's uh, 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 D writers. <laughs> nah, bruh. I'm defending the truth, all right? Do I, like I said, if I had to choose between all the other Andrew Tate, bruh, 10 minutes of Andrew Tate ranting and rambling is way more entertaining to me than Ace 3. I'm sorry, bruh. That's the truth. You know it. I know it. That's why you sitting there double cheeked up talking about, you're just a R word. Ist. You're just a human trafficker. Nah, bruh. Countless times. So with all the proof that we got, why is he banned, bro? Why is he deplatformed? Now, one thing I've never been is a snitch. All right, this is one thing you can never say I am. Not that I lead a criminal gangster lifestyle. <laughs> you know what I mean, like y'all try to make trade Tate team. No, but I'm just saying. I'm not going to tell you, so I'm not going to say names, right? But I'm going to tell you this. I've watched some of my favorite rappers give their girlfriends the 300 combo on camera. Uh, it wasn't a playful dominatrix, BDSM, whatever. It wasn't that. It wasn't a consensual, uh, here you go, smack whoop. It wasn't that. It was a type of, I'm talking a falcon punch, alright? He damn near went super sand. He, I'm pretty sure he was pressing X, triangle, maybe L2, R2. Of course, I'm not going to show you here. But listen to me. I've seen the same rappers go on to have lengthy, amazing careers. Maybe they're not going to get certain record deals and sponsorships. Of course not, because they are, quote unquote, woman beaters. But then again, it's not that much of a hurdle, like, in terms of, like, uh, you know, they're not going to get deplatformed. Hold on, let me drink some water. You understand what I'm saying, though, right? The fact that Andrew Tate, not only did he get deplatformed, but he got deplatformed based on a lie. Now, like I said, the left, you guys claim to be inclusive. And, you know, you respect other people's opinions. I'm not seeing that. On top of that, you guys all on YouTube. And I'm not talking about a small guy who's trying to grow his channel quick. Trying to stimulate the channel. No. We're talking about people who claim to have integrity. When I look at them, I see none. Now, you want to talk about Hustlers University? Go ahead. You want to talk about whatever? You go ahead. But you don't lie on another man. Alright? Now, here's the thing with H3H3. Maybe when he's chilling in, in, in Hollywood, you know what I mean? Disconnected from the, from the world where, first of all, uh, you know... <sighs> This is something Andrew says that resonates with me, alright? When, when people see him living in, a lamb, uh, living in a mansion, driving a Lamborghini, having girls on girls on girls, that rubs a lot of people the wrong way, especially people who feel like, I'm talking about men who can't achieve that lifestyle. Sometimes women who are with, with clowns in real life. I'm not going to say alpha, beta, I don't like that terminology. That's some that's some uh, red pill community stuff. I'm not part part of that manosphere. I don't like it. 
But I'm gonna tell you straight up, it's a lot of girls that be with goofs. Alright, goofy. Goofy ah, uh, goofy ah, uh, you know? Yeah. And they be just frustrated. They take their frustrations out on people like Andrew Tate. They don't understand them. They haven't watched the full episode of Tate's speech, I guess. But they're just so quick to latch on to some TikTok video they seen where he claims that something that sounds outlandish taken out of context. Again, this is coming from a person who watched this man two years ago. If it was something wrong with him, I would have known. But the difference is I sat there and I watched these videos. Full ones. I found them motivational. I found them that man's energy rubs off on you. He has this uh, uh you know, he has this warrior spirit like I do. But when you don't have a warrior spirit, you have a soy boy spirit, such as H3. You know? It is what it is. People latch on the lies and try to just blow up these lies. It's because they are haters. I see no other reason for it, alright? I don't, I don't see other reasons. If you know it's a lie, I defended this man online. And people come at me like I'm some kind of like... Uh, communist sympathizer. Like, bruh. This ain't that, alright? You know he's innocent. They keep saying he trafficked women. I'm like, show me the proof he trafficked women. Show me the proof. He was proven innocent. They're like, where, where, where? Show me. I'm like, look it up. He's like, no, show me, show me, please. Look it up. You're dragging it. I really wasn't even going to make this video, but I'm going to tell you something. So the other day, um, I put a post up on Facebook. And let me see if I can just read out the post to you. So you get a context. Yeah, I still have it up. I'm going to read it out to you. Let me fetch it real quick. Just so you see the type of, of, of... Just so you see where I'm coming with this, alright? And you tell me what you think. This is what I posted, guys. I posted, The rich will get richer. If you give most people 100k right now, they will end up back broke. It will end up back in the hands of the rich. And they will stay broke. Because this is a, a mentality, a state of mind. You got to think like the rich, you get rich. Right? If somebody give you 100K and you got a poor man mentality, a consumer mentality. I've seen it happen. I've seen people get a lot of money and blow it on Gucci, Louis, Balenciaga. And now they're back broke. So, I'm just saying, if you don't have a rich man in my state, a mentality, you're, <laughs> even if I give you a lot of money right now, you're going to end up back broke. You're going to blow it. So I said, you see a rich man and start hating, when instead you can be humble and try to learn from him. Good point, right? The comment section didn't think so, though. I started arguing, having these Facebook comment arguments. I really shouldn't have wasted my time that much, but it's been a while, so I figured, why not? Let's have some fun. Now, this is where things get interesting. I'm not going to say the girl's name, but it was it was a girl who seemed to strongly disagree with everything I'm saying. She said that I shouldn't think that being rich is good, uh, being rich is evil, you shouldn't be rich. I'm like, What? I came from poverty. I can't aspire one day to not be that. You trying to tell me that I shouldn't be ambitious. I shouldn't be. I should just be complacent and just chill. Be broke with you. Stop trying to make excuses for why you broke and why you failed in life. All right. I didn't say that to her, but I'm just saying this for all y'all. It's a lesson to be learned here. All right. It's a lesson in the glass bottle. Check this out. Me and her take this conversation in private. I'm thinking she's mature, and she is supposed to be mature. She's older than me. So I'm thinking this lady finna take, take things. I'm like, so she keeps trying to tell me about why it's so evil being rich and that the rich uh, don't become rich unless they sacrifice their humanity and do things to hurt the other man, da 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 So I'm sitting there, I'm getting a headache. I'm like, but I'm trying to debate. I'm trying to express my opinions and learn what she has to say. Maybe I'm wrong. I was wrong. 
but not about my opinions about wasting my time debating with such a person because I was expressing my opinions. Now, just like I said, I promise you I am not lying when I said that all I was doing was expressing opinions. I was not trying to hurt this girl. I was not trying to attack this girl in any way. I was interested in what she had to say and why she thought I was wrong. Now, again, she was older than me. I was under the guise, under the, 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 the preconceived notion, I guess. Or I thought that she would be, you know, hence that she's older. You know, hence that she, she rock with the, the certain movements about self-expression. You know, colorful movements. I thought that she would be mature enough to sit there and, and have a debate like a, like a grown, mature, civilized adult. Again, this is coming from somebody who grew up in Saudi Arabia. If you know something about Saudi Arabia, I mean, now it's changed. Now it's a free, welcoming place. But when I was growing up, the old king, debating wasn't, you're not, that <laughs> The concept of debating shouldn't even be installed in your head. All right? Debating means you're going to debate and ask for freedom. Means, you know. So, yeah, it was obviously no freedom of speech. Da, da, da. So, you know I value these things, right? You know, debating about religion, debating about whatever. Sometimes I'm in the mood for it. And I will sit there and I will listen to you and your points that you make. And I will see if you make valid, good points. And if your argument is stronger than my argument, if at any point I realize that I'm wrong, I would change my opinion. Because I'm not trying to go in competition with you when I'm debating. No. I don't care if I win or lose. This is not, uh, uh, this is not WWE. Alright? This is not uh, GTA RP. Okay? This is not Mortal Kombat. I'm trying to... F the point of all of this is to get to the truth. It's not to win or lose. So if I'm wrong and I see the truth now, I'll be like, okay, you got the truth. So obviously I'm interested in hearing her points that she make. And if, she, if I think they're wrong, I make counterpoints or express my opinions, my thoughts on a matter. My stream of consciousness. She, she seemed to be a psychedelic enjoy her a little you know free spirit if you will so i'm thinking that's the type of vibe we're getting here you know like the joe rogan experience type of conversation but my friends ladies and gentlemen oh boy was i wrong because not even two to three minutes into the debate she's already being hostile af i'm not feeling it I'm I'm not feeling it. I'm not liking it. So I'm like, listen. But I'm still trying to have the debate. I'm just like, calm down, okay? You don't got to call me. Uh, uh, uh. She starts saying, like, see, this is why I don't like you. You're so dense. You have opinions about money. You think you're... Opinions. I'm motivated. I'm trying to become rich. Shouldn't you have the same opinions? Is it wrong to be wanting to do better? Huh? Explain yourself. Or, I'm like, then she started attacking me. She started deviating from the argument versus making good, valid points. She started coming at me like, you, 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 you. Stop saying you. You have valid points or not. Stop. This is hostile. I can't, ar I can't debate with you if you're just going to keep coming at me personally. What, what's, this is not a debate. You know, we're grown. Too old to be doing this. Ladies and gentlemen, you believe me if I told you she blocked me. And this is a person I knew in real life. So I'm thinking, damn, a blocky? A blocky? Really? What happened to the world, bruh? What happened to the world, bruh? A block? Because we have different opinions. We can't have different opinions and be cool. You can't have a different opinion and defend it with with with, 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 with with good points and knowledge and wisdom and evolution and revolution. Get it? 
But seriously, you can't you can't defend your point with valid points. Then your point sucks. I'm sorry to say. I'm sorry to say, bro. If what I'm saying created such a cognitive dissonance, dissonance, dissonance. If I created such a self conflict in your head by presenting my simple points, then maybe you're in the wrong because, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, she unblocked me after, only to tell me to never hit her up again, never talk to her again. And she sent me a video. I was not expecting to see this. I felt bad. Like, I've. I'm not a monster. She sent me a video of her crying. Literal, like, bruh. Oh my God. Listen. If you know me, like, you follow me in my life, you know I've lost a couple of people. And I'm still kind of like, honestly, I'm still not. I mean, I've accepted it and all, but I'm still kind of grieving, you know? I'm still grieving over my friends and my family members that I've lost. I've lost three members, three sorry loved ones in one month. That was a tough month for me mentally, very tough. Still still going through it. And I've cried, I'll tell you this. I'm a grown man and I've cried over that. I've lost three people that are important to me. One of them I talk to daily. It's, I don't know if you've lost somebody you talk to every day, but it's not. It's different when you hear somebody, you know? Hold on. Anyway, I say that to say. I've went through some horrible stuff. But, and I've cried. But I haven't cried like she was crying in that video, bro. She was crying a river she was crying like i told her she was worthless or something like bro all i said was listen you gotta have stop hating on the rich because she was trying to make points like eat the rich that they shouldn't they don't deserve to be rich this is not your money this is everybody's money you realize you're asking for communism right but then i also included in our, in our argument that i i get death threats because people think I'm, I'm not rich, but people think that I'm rich or I'm living a better life. They go on my Instagram, I got a blue check. It rubs a lot of people the wrong way, like Andrew Tate. So they send me death threats. I was like, if you're, your argument here is dangerous. It basically justifies, it's saying, yeah, it's okay to kill you, AK. Basically, that's what you're saying to me. But even though you're saying that to me, I'm not getting heated. I'm listening to you talk. I'm taking your points, and I'm responding back with points very calmly, very maturely, without disrespecting you personally. It's the idea, but she cried. Her literal rivers, like why, why, why? Honestly, and I'm not going to discredit her because obviously she she told me some stuff. I'm not going to repeat personal stuff. We both went through what we went through in life. But bruh, an argument should not make you cry. This is what's wrong with the world. I've witnessed during this pandemic, the world gets so polarized and divided. Like, I've, there's always been Republicans and Democrats. There's always been supporters of the both. But... I've never seen the words far, far right, far left, wah, wah. The left down there turn into a <laughs> Al-Qaeda. Like, come on, bro. You can't have opinions nowadays? Then cancel, delete the platform. I don't care who run YouTube. I don't care who run Instagram. The, the reasons you got this man banned is lies. The reason that a lot of people attack him is the same thing that was proven to me in my uh, 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 Facebook little ar war argument there. It just proves to you that some people, some people might know the truth, but they can't handle it. They don't want to accept it. They're rather a beautiful lie.
Rockabye Baby. Alright, a lullaby, if you will. They just want to summer rock them. They don't want to hear the truth. Because the truth <laughs> makes some of them cry. Now that speaks volumes. Some men know that they're fat. Know that they're ugly. Know that they're unattractive. But instead of doing something about it, they want to sit there and justify it. Again, I am not the most handsome build. I don't have a six pack, okay? I haven't been to the gym in like two, three years. I understand, but I'm in, in, and I've seen the changes. I've seen how girls respond to that. But other than taking into consideration, uh, I don't take these frustrations out by hating on another man who does take care of himself. No. Because inside, I'm still that warrior, I'm still that hustler, I'm still that, uh, I don't even want to say alpha beta. But you get what I'm saying? I'm still that guy. So when I see somebody else like that, I'm relating to him. I'm usually, about, hey, <laughs> it's another one of my kind, bruh. Andrew Tate's opinions are not dangerous. They're not dangerous. If you look into that same Bible right, that you guys got, says the same thing, Quran, whatever, Judaism. Go anywhere outside of the U.S. and Canada and Europe, and you'll see that most of the world thinks how he thinks, females and males. I don't think anybody should be deplatformed. When you deplatform people, you're fueling that, that, that far, you call it far right, you're fueling that war that, that, that the mentality is brewing in them, and it could turn dangerous. Because when they don't feel heard, you're removing people's opinions now. Like, what? That's some dictatorship stuff, bro. That's like people in Russia. If you think that the war in Ukraine is wrong, <laughs> they, Vladimir Putin and his goons are coming for you. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. And the people leading these movements coming under the guise of, I'm a good guy. I'm a love woman. You don't love woman, bruh. Sad to see, man. Really sad to see. Again, I am not part of the manosphere. Alright? I like Tate, but I'm not, uh, I'm not, you know, a crusader. But I had to come here and, and tell you guys that there's a, a, a mob mentality. Going around a case of mass hysteria. Hysteria, whatever you want to call it. And the leaders of these movements are people who, if you really look under, if you really take a closer look, you will realize that it's either a, a dude that looks like H3H3, <laughs> you know what I mean? Hating on another man that got a six pack and a Lamborghini. Come on, bruh. Alright? And you, you know, or, 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 or lady, you know what I mean, taking out her own sexual or, or failures or frustrations on a man like Andrew Tate because he says he only like young Uber. Right, like, he, he's not saying anything new. He's just saying things that are, he's not saying anything new, bro. I liked him for his hustle stuff and his motivation, not the woman stuff. That just shows you what the world cares about, bro. All right? I'm sitting here thinking about how, how, I'm, how I'm going to become rich and successful. You sitting over there talking about women and men, women and men, gender war all day and night. It's not a secret, but the economy's messed up. That's why you got OnlyFans, girls. All right? Give it a year or two, or maybe five. Things will, things will even up. Things will go back to normal. If you guys come together and unite, instead of being so divided all the time maybe the changes you want to see happen will come to life maybe the economy will get better all right maybe the things you want to see the changes you want to see will get better all right don't be going for the hate mob man With that being said man i've spoken enough all right the problem is i get sad you know this is why it's hard for me to talk about politics and all this anymore because i get really frustrated I wish I was a sociopath. I wish. 
Because at least I would be able to sit there and tell you bad news all day without a care in the world. I wish. But the problem is I care. I get drained talking about this. All right? This is an attack on freedom of speech, man. I get it. It's a private company. But at this point, when you run a monopoly, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't a private company. You plan with people's... Uh, you plan with world events, all right? You should be upholding the freedom of speech to the max. All right, if he did some crime, uh, th- then it is what it is. That's for the right pe- departments and right people to, to, to figure out. All right, but if you know something's false, you keep perpetuating it. Hey, I got no respect for you. You got no integrity. Stop hating on him, man. Free tape, man. Bring him back, man. And with that being said, this is what I think, all right? Some people going to feel some type of way. I don't care. Again, this is what I do. I keep it 102% with you. I'm never going to lie to you to, 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 to make you feel good. All right? Tough love, but it's the truth, bro. You and I both know it's the truth. He's not that harmful. You guys just gave him a lot of ammo, ammunition. To, 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 to. I mean, not that he wants to lead any movement or anything, but you guys just... Kind of did fuel that movement by doing what you did. So, definitely food for thought. I got no respect for you. You got no integrity. Stop hating on him, man. Free tape, man. Bring him back, man. And with that being said, this is what I think, all right? Some people going to feel some type of way. I don't care. Again, this is what I do. I keep it 102% with you. I'm never going to lie to you. To, 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 to make you feel good. Alright? Tough love, but it's the truth, bruh. You and I both know it's the truth. He's not that harmful. You guys just gave him a lot of ammo, ammunition. YouTube.com slash AK Debris. Make sure to click the like button, smash the subscribe button, and leave a comment for the algorithm.